Hey, what up, superstars? It's your boy, Bet on Me, with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, got another great video for you guys today regarding how to get the Seventh Seraph Officer Revolver Hand Cannon and also a God Roll Guide for both PvP and PvE. And this weapon was just added back into Destiny 2 Loot Pool last week, and it does not sunset until Season 14. So right before we get into it, if you guys do like great Destiny 2 content regarding PvP and PvE, weapon reviews, how-to videos, subclass builds, great gameplay, a little bit of Destiny 2 news and Destiny 1, this is definitely the channel for you, so go ahead and click that sub and notification bell, it'll definitely help support the channel. This weapon is very easy to get in Destiny 2 Beyond Light, you can get it several ways. You could get it from playing Crucible gameplay, from playing World Events, you could get it from playing playing strikes and nightfalls. You can also get them from legendary engrams and you can also get it from vendors by turning in your tokens. Now this is a precision frame hand cannon. The recoil pattern of this weapon is more predictable vertical and it fires quickly with high accuracy. Now this is a 180 rounds per minute nine in the magazine. This is my favorite archetype of hand cannon. Now it has great impact of 78. It has some awesome aim assist and also some great recoil. Now even though these weapons typically have good stability, this one does need a little bit more. For your PVP God Roll, any of the traits in gold and red or God Roll traits just really depend on your playstyle, but the better one in my opinion that has the first place sticker. So in line number one, we have corkscrew rifling, add plus five to range, plus five to handling, plus five to stability. Also, I would go with small bore, add plus seven to range, plus seven to stability. Line number two, tactical mag, add plus five to stability, plus 10 to magazine size, plus 10 to reload, but also accurized rounds, add plus 10 to range. And line number three, firmly planted, increase accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while you're crouched, and sliding in counts as well. And then also in line number four, time payload. Projectiles attached to enemies explode after a short delay. Now for your PVE God roll in line number one, we want to go at quick screw rifling again. Line number two, tactical mag again is going to be the best. Now in line number three, threat detector. Increase reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity. And then in line number four, we want to go with multi-kill clip. Reload and grants increased damage based on the number of rapid hits made beforehand. So down below in the comments, guys, I want y'all to discuss discuss with each other what are the best roles you have and also what god roles you're farming for so until next time this your boy better me saying peace hope to see you guys in the destiny universe let's team up and have some fun you guys have a blessed day